What is up my friends, Netflix, the streaming wars, they're here, and with that it means they have to get their things going, each streaming service, and Netflix is like, hey, original content over here, so we're the kings of that, right? So they got the teen rom-coms, they got some pretty good shows, and I mean, one of my favorite shows ever uh, is definitely on my block, which is on Netflix, but now Netflix is like, Let's start a thriller comedy-ish action with Spencer Confidential. And this movie stars Mark Wahlberg, Marky Mark, and Winston Duke as two cop buddies, sort of. So, Spencer, played by Mark Wahlberg, teams up with an MMA fighter called Hawk, who is played by Winston Duke. And they go out to find out a conspiracy when two of Spencer's former colleagues are... Dead. One of the victims is Captain Boylan, and another one is Terrence Graham, which Spencer is kind of hesitant to believe wasn't behind the death of Captain Boylan. So Spencer and Hawk uncover a huge conspiracy throughout Boston that is centered around Wonderland. And Wonderland, you're fucking asking, what is that? Well, if you've seen the movie, you know it's a casino, and that's a pretty darn crazy ass name for a casino wonderland but it also involves dirty cops politicians as well as a drug gang involved so yeah the ties go very very deep and spencer and hawk are in it like deep so they got to uncover what the hell's going on what they uncover is that graham who spencer was like very suspicious of was trying to strike a deal with the fbi but Boylan was killed for being a rat, quote unquote. And this was done by the fellow cops as well. And one of the partners that Spencer used to have, Driscoll, was also behind it. And in fact, in charge of it all. So holy shit, my friends. We just have some intense twists and turns here. And this can only be written by... Yes, this is actually based on books, so we'll get more into that. Um, the dirty cops then killed Graham, and they framed him for Boylan's death. So, pretty much, Graham was pretty much a pawn that they used, so it would mislead everybody else. But Spencer and Hawk definitely find out exactly what's going on. And what they do is they hijack a drug shipment that was going to Wonderland. This goes into a final showdown between Spencer and his former partner Driscoll and then Spencer ultimately has to kill him and leaves the dirty cops with the drugs and the money and they all go to prison and we wrap up Spencer Confidential. No, we don't wrap it up just yet because Netflix is like, holy shit, this might be pretty good and we might definitely get onto something so in the final scene they leave it as sort of a cliffhanger if in any case this movie proves to be good which i think is definitely going to be watched because mark Wahlberg is a household name i think many people appreciate some good marky mark so we'll definitely see if this does end up going any further for a sequel because in the final scene we see spencer watching a news report with everybody around him about the boston fires chief Marty Foley being arrested in connection with an arson at St. Aidan's Church, which caused the death of two fighters, and he says, It's a setup. I swear to God, I didn't do this. I have kids. I would never do this. I swear to God, I would never do this. I need help. And then Spencer's like, Let's go crack this case. So Spencer Confidential is actually based on a book called Wonderland, which follows Spencer, and it is by ace atkins according to many people they believe that the sequel would in fact be following slow burn which is another spencer novel where we follow spencer and hawk investigating a fire at a boarded up catholic church that killed three firefighters and pretty much we're just like that sounds just like that ending so we could definitely be seeing a sequel of that if not maybe a couple of movies into it as well they both have pretty good chemistry so it's going to be interesting to see if we actually get it what do you think however about spencer confidential and the ending of course as i said i thought that it was pretty good the way they wrapped it up as well with the conspiracies and all of that and how they ended with that cliffhanger so that cliffhanger is actually another novel that they could definitely be adapting for that sequel where they go and investigate these fires and what's actually going on with it and I think that it could definitely go somewhere with Netflix I think that this uh, thriller uh, comedy that they have with Spencer Confidential could go somewhere Six Underground is another movie that they are definitely considering making sequels for and Netflix is really trying to get their original content going especially with them losing a lot of stuff in the coming months and years so I can 
definitely not blame them for wanting to sh like get these off but i'm excited for next week we have on my blog coming out on tuesday definitely checking that out as soon as it comes out Make sure you subscribe so you know when that video drops on the On My Block ending because we're going to fucking talk about it. You know we are. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the like, comment, share. On the road to 10,000 subscribers, we're about to hit 9,000. I also post videos on TikTok. I'll leave a link for that below. And if you haven't already done so, go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all of that. I'll see you next time. Stay positive.